Hopefully it got a better picture than last time. Maybe so. <laughs> Maybe so. I wish this was up higher. Oh, I wish this was up like this. What do you find? Well, That's how I, I wish. always seem to find there's a box of cardboard boxes right there. Would Ooh, you like me to get that'll them? work. I'll get them. Don't get tangled up. I'm not. We're live. Oh, we are live. Get you. I think that's going to be too skinny. We're just lifting up a little. All right, look at there. Don't that work? Oh, do y'all see something? Somebody said that they saw something in the background. I don't know what they could be seeing, Gidget. I think they're seeing things like uh, like Bigfoot or the Loch Ness right. Monster or she's Sasquatch not, or something. You may have to put her outside. You don't think? I don't see nothing. There ain't nothing under that couch. She's crazy. Nothing there. Okay, I look like I've been under the couch. <laughs> <laughs> oh Cage, me! Baby. She's gonna tear the couch up. It's probably maybe I could give her a bone. Yeah, try that. Maybe she'll quit. Our dog is steadily scratching at the bottom of the couch, and we can't figure out why. Gidget. <laughs> this is what happens when you go live. You don't know what you're going to get. You know what I'm saying? This is real life. <laughs> Dog scratching under the couch. We weren't prepared for that at all. And you know what else? What's that? This is why we waited so long to actually go live. Yeah, because we were worried about stuff like that happening. We're I not worried no more. Today, I mean, in, in our past oh that's think, why we did the pre-recorded ones and you oh yeah 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 and i edited it out mm -hmm. you really never knew what i was gonna say mm -hmm. so you had to be real careful but now you don't care what i say now yeah it's on me it's on you you got your own channel and so, everything now i mean so they can deal with me you, rather you're than like you. your own you, you you're like the biggest celebrity now on cock oh, Hill. it's like i think? could just step away yeah. And just let and you just do record. That. You see how fast we fall apart. Oh, look, there's Chestnut Hills. What's up, hey. Chestnut? Um, look, I could just record and edit and just let you just take it over. Okay. <laughs> we'll see how long that lasts. I'm kind of thinking it's not gonna be very, very good thing. Oh, okay, so Chestnut Hills was on here, right? I saw him for a second. Well, they're they're our local friends. They are our local friends. And their names are Nick and Zoe. That's right. And y'all, let me tell y'all, if you've been following us for very long, then you know back during Christmas, Zoe delivered us a box of homemade goodies. She did. And they're trying to get their uh, YouTube channel up and going. They are. And they, they you know, they, they want, they want to, to grow. And mm -hmm. so I told Zoe, I said, let's make a deal. I said, when I get cabinets in... Yes. And I, I forgot to say countertops because that might be more important than cabinets. When yes. I get cabinets in, mm -hmm. I want you to come over and we're going to do a live. I said a live, but I don't know if it might need to be a, a video versus a live. Right. Um, let's do something. And you show me how you make some of that good homemade candy and cookies and sweets and goodies. And we'll get y'all. Let me tell you. On track and and try to help y'all. Let me tell you, she makes a, a, a it's like an oatmeal sandwich. I don't I, that thing looks absolute delicious, Zoe. If you're listening, <laughs> that's what I want y'all to make when y'all come to the kitchen here at Cock Hill. I want y'all to make them homemade. I don't know what it's called. I see she's got a recipe in mind, but listen, I don't know what recipe you got in your mind. I got one in my mind, and it's those. It was like two giant chocolate chip cookies with no, something in the middle. I, I don't think know what oatmeal. It may be oatmeal. I it may be because you know I love some oatmeal inside. cream pie. Ooh, and the new oatmeal cream pie ice cream that's out there. That stuff's awesome. Now, should I go get it? 
Well, you can, but Little Debbie came out with one first. Little Debbie, because we all know Little Debbie oatmeal snack cakes, right? Little Debbie came out with that oatmeal snack cake ice cream first, but I'm going to tell you, I, I'm gonna go get it. you that Blue Bell oatmeal snack cake, no, but it, to me, in my opinion, now I don't have them side by side. Maybe I need to do a taste test on the live side by side of the oatmeal, the Little Debbie versus the, the Blue Bell. But to me, the Blue Bell was better. And I may be wrong on that. But but getting back to Zoe over there at Chestnut Hills, that oatmeal, I don't know what that thing's called, but good googly goo. Let me tell you now, Tanya from Hidden Valley Farms, who does our bees for us. Those are her bees, and she has them here on our property. She told me that that oatmeal cookie pie thing that, that Zoe makes. I want to call it a whoopie pie. Well, let's call it that. A whoopie pie. Well, whoopie pie. That I don't, Zoe, you may have something in, on on your plate that you want to <laughs> that you want to make over here in the new kitchen once we get it going. But you got to top it off with those whoopie pies. <laughs> <laughs> so while while you were talking yeah. about Zoe's whoopie pies, yes. I went to the freezer to mm -hmm. get this ice cream so I could show people. Yep. Oh, I was expecting to pick up a pint of ice cream. <laughs> it's about gone. But when I picked it up, it was very light. And I it's don't know who gone. in the world would have I don't know who would have done This little bitty amount. I'm watching my weight. Okay. So. <laughs> I'm watching my weight. <laughs> when we first bought this, we were living in the camper. Yeah, but it was the. Uh, Bluebell. The Bluebell version. And I can remember. I, I try to stay away from ice cream. Mm -hmm. I mean, not that I don't love it, but, mm -hmm. you know, we all know what happens. And so I try to stay away from it. Mm -hmm. But I can remember you coming to me and you saying, do you want to, do you want to try a bite? And I was like, because I know what's going to happen. But I told you that would be one of the best ice creams that I've had. I won't, will want the whole thing. So I tried it and y'all, oh my gosh, it wasn't this brand. It wasn't Little Debbie brand. It was the Bluebell. Don't get me wrong. That one's good. That one's really good. But I think the Bluebell was better. Mm. We may have to have a blind taste test between this one and the Bluebell. Um, but they hadn't had the Bluebell lately. We've gone to the grocery store. Haven't been there. So everybody else may agree with me. Maybe. Maybe so. That may be what it is. Maybe so. But if you like ice cream. It's good. Now. And you had not tried this. <laughs> you like oatmeal. Cream pies and whoopie pies. It's got quite quite a few calories in it. I was just looking at 670 calories in a pint. Denise Lee says she makes a chocolate whoopie for Santa. I may be Santa Claus this year, Denise. Mm, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gracious. Well, I'm going to tell y'all. I'm going to adjust this over here where y'all can see Mrs. Cockhill, a.k.a. Brooke. And see what she's got over there in her kitchen. Oh, Y'all see that? Y'all see that over there? Y'all see what's going on over here? I was trying to see what, what that <laughs> is right there, but that's my couch. That's your couch. Yeah, it would need to go up. Do Y'all look at there, y'all. Guess what we got yesterday? Guess what we got? Look at there. Look. Oh, my gracious. Look. We have cabinets. We have cabinet boxes. We and we knew yes. that the doors were not coming. That's right. We knew we were just getting the bases, but hey, we'll take it. That's a, that's a, mm. that that's what we wanted was to get that's our boxes what we in first. And you really can tell a whole lot about it. Yes. Once the boxes get in, now, you really can. I, I thought that was Mama's. Mm -hmm. I thought that was Mama's, and then when they came and put the doors on Mama's, right? I said you couldn't tell a thing. When they just had those boxes in. Oh. So, you know, while I'm feeling like it's wonderful. Right, when they right, get right. the doors on is really going to be the, the finishing. That's right. So, it's getting kind of late and we're on the laptop. I can't carry the laptop around. So, we're going to have a video coming out on Monday. And we can talk about the cabinets tonight. We're not going to, you know, not, not talk about them. But we're going to give you all a grand tour because we didn't just get kitchen cabinets. We didn't just get kitchen cabinets. We got bathroom. We got um, laundry room. But we didn't get the pantry. We didn't but, get the pantry. But, but we did he, get... That wasn't in the... That wasn't in the book. That wasn't in the, that wasn't in the works. Plans. That's right. So. 
So, so we got kitchen cabinet. We got an island. We got an you island. You can't see that. I wonder if I can do it like this. I don't want to. Can y'all see the island? Oh, there it is. Head. There it is. The right. island's not finished yet, though. It's, the island's not finished. The island will be stained, and it'll have panels That's on right. the outside of it to cover up that raw wood that you see. But we can see what size it's going to be. Yep. We can see what we're looking forward to. That's right. So, um, I'm excited. I'm very, very excited. Very excited. I even went ahead and ordered me some. Jason hates that shelf liner stuff. I do, y'all. Have you, uh, am I the only one? I, that shelf liner to me. And But you, you think you got some better shelf liner. Well, but in the past, to me, it's like like, like underwear going up. You, you know what I mean? It just all kind of bundles all up. Like you're trying to put a pan in and it just kind of just crumbles all up like that. But here's what I feel. Yeah. I feel that that happens to you. It does. But you're only in there one out of a hundred times. <laughs> so I really don't care what happens when you go in there to put That's that right. one pan up. I got you. Because I'm putting 99 pans you. up to your one. So I got you're just you. going to have to deal with it. I'm going to deal with it. But... I think in the past we had the wrong shelf liner. <laughs> well, I started doing some 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 googling, mm -hmm. and I was trying to figure out: Do you really need the stuff? Do right. you need it? Right. Well, the bottom line is: Yes, you need it for the cabinets that you use the most. That's what you and you come told me. You said, "Look, I come and told you, you, and and I I did let you. I did all the picking out." You did all the picking out. But you just asked me a color. I let you choose the color. I chose, so I got some input in it. He got some <laughs> some input. And so I went with, um, uh, I don't even know. I'll show y'all when I get it and get it put in. I don't even right. know what I went with. I went with what was top rated. And there was some that was top rated that had holes in it. Mm -hmm. But you didn't and get that. I didn't get that because to me, that's defeating the whole purpose. You well, got the, crumbs that go through it. Well, the main one was the under the sink one. Yeah, I had case to have you have that. like you know everybody puts their glass cleaner and they put their well whatever pledge and all that goes under your sink. And plus that, that's where your main pipes are. And your main pipes, so you may have a leak every now and then. So, so I didn't put shelf right, liner. I didn't right. buy shelf liner to go up under there. I bought a tray. Yep, it's an under like sink tray. That's right. Mama had bought one for hers, and I thought. Mm, this is crazy. Mm -hmm. I tried for under. Why would you do that? Then once I saw it in there, I never said anything to her about it being crazy. I'm just, right. I'm not opinionated out loud. I keep it to <laughs> myself, but I thought that she had wasted her money. Right. And then when I saw it and I, I saw all her stuff put down there, mm -hmm. I thought that was genius. So I ordered me one. I don't so think you it's just your... like hers because she couldn't share a link with it, me. To... It kind of looks like a, uh, a boot liner. One of those weather tech mats that yep. go in the back of your SUV. That's right. That's kind of what it reminds me of. It's just it's got a lip on it, so mm -hmm. you know the the gist of it is if anything spills right. chemical wise or whatever, or if you have a leak, then it's going to catch it. That's and right. Your cabinet's not going to be ruined, right? That's that's I Do agree. Do you remember at Mama's old house we had to replace the bottom in that cabinet because she had a Dude. slow leak from mm -hmm. her dishwasher line? Mm hmm. So that's what we're trying to prevent. That's what we're trying to prevent. So I, I'm a, I'm all good with the shelf liner if um if uh if it don't you know bundle all up. You as know long what as mean? I continue to put like the if you bought some underwear up. that was just too big and you've been working outside all day, it just mm -hmm. that's that's what it reminds me of. Well, you're not gonna have to worry about that <laughs> um, because <laughs> I got something that's supposed to be good. It's so hopefully, to be. hopefully, hopefully they got. <laughs> New and improved shelf line. Here's right the there. deal, though. Yes. Not only did I buy the same kind for the kitchen, right? I bought it for the bathroom. I bought mm. it for everywhere. So I really hope <laughs> it's hope good. It works right. Because <laughs> what if I bought this and it's you know it's yeah. no good? <laughs> then I'm no good for all of them. Well, we'll see. But it should be here Tuesday. We'll see. Should be here Tuesday. Yeah. Should um, be here Tuesday. And I, I, I can guarantee you when Tuesday comes, mm -hmm. I'm going to put it in mm -hmm. because I'm tired of this stuff being all over the floor. I understand. My doors do have to be put on, but at least at least I'll be dealing out of cabinets. We can start I've... putting some stuff in, the, in there. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Uh, did y'all notice what's on my neck? Look at here. <laughs> now, now, I want to say that, number one, the cabinets are in. So I um, want everybody to know we got cabinets. The cabinet maker came. Listen, he came himself. 
He came and his, now, he had two guys on, on with Brooke's him. Brooks' mom's house, he never came, just the, the employees came. But here, he came himself. He came himself. And was it just as, he's a super nice guy. Yeah. And I mean, I, just as cordial and professional and as nice as you can be. And um, they did a really good job. And that's why yeah. I hated yep. to, um, yeah, I was angry because mm -hmm. there were several times when we were told they were going to be installed and that's they right. weren't. But y'all, he's such a nice guy. I'm so, so nice. glad that I didn't, you know, go out and say his name. Right. Because he did a good job. He really did. Now, I may get angry again because I may not have the doors in time. But <laughs> well, he said the doors in two weeks. <laughs> so. Y'all don't write that down. <laughs> No, don't put that on your calendar. If it goes like <laughs> anything else, it's probably going to be four weeks, but two weeks on the doors. Uh, so fingers crossed. Look, somebody already figured out what you got on your neck. Fingers crossed about the sh the cabinet doors but, um, and drawers. You know what I told him as he walked out the door? What'd you tell he him? He said, I hope y'all have a good weekend. And I said, I bet you're going to have a good weekend because I'm not going to be pestering you. <laughs> and it's kind of like a funny back and forth with us now. So, yeah. Yeah. It's all good. Well, we've we've never been rude or no, never been or, ugly. That's just never. not how we are. We just kind of pick, you know. What I mean, we're just we're all having fun. There's a lot more things we could get our panties in a wad or or uh, drawer liners or shelf yeah. liners well, in a wad. Well, that's what we're gonna say yeah. from now on. You yeah. can get your shelf liner. Ain't that right, Gidge? You get your <laughs> shelf liner in a wad. <laughs> that's right. So now <laughs> the other thing I was gonna bring up was Moody. Mm-hmm. Moody is I want to say he's a hundred percent. What do you think? Um, I mean, if you're if you're really looking and you realize that he's had something in his foot, yeah, you can see every now and then he lifts it up a little higher. Maybe but that so. may be me. He um he's uh he, he He's oh. way better. He's 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 good. He's not limping. Everything's great. He's ninety nine point nine. At that? least, yeah, he's doing awesome. Do y'all see that? Can you see it? That is it. Um, that is half of the bob wire. You got the other half on your neck right there. You got your and moody I necklace. I couldn't get my thing that stays on my necklace all the time. I couldn't get it off, so I just hooked the... <laughs> I got to get Jason a chain. So right now, I want to say right now, we have more souvenirs of moody. You know what I saw? Than any other animal we got. Just the other day while I was going through some boxes, I saw a Ziploc bag with his tooth, tooth in it. In it. <laughs> Someone Imagine I'll put these. I'll this. put this one in a Ziploc bag too, so I can hang on to these crazy oh, things. Oh, Moody! I tell y'all the truth. So I wonder how much Moody weighs. We're roughly guessing, and we're just guessing, but probably anywhere from fourteen hundred to sixteen hundred pounds, give or take. Well, the vet asked us. He said, "What do y'all think he weighs?" And we said. Well, you know, we just kind of had in our mind about sixteen hundred pounds, about and he 1600 said, "Sixteen hundred pounds. That's, that's that's a good that's a good weight. <laughs> that's a good." He said, "That's a good weight. Yeah, that was a good that weight. looks about right." So, yeah, yep. And I will say, man, thank goodness for Doctor D. Thank goodness that we. It looks like we've got somebody that can be our official cockle veterinarian, and. That is a huge relief, and huge relief. Moody is okay. I mean, yeah, just, just. I don't know what we would have done otherwise. I mean, I we, we could loaded him up. We got we had our a vet where we used to live, and we used to have where we lived. We still traveled thirty to forty minutes to go see him. So this would have been almost an hour and a half, maybe longer. Yeah, drive, and well, he would have been and pulling him in the trailer. Him. Yeah, we and plus trailer. his foot was hurting his we thought hurting. you know the reason mm -hmm. we called the vet is because we thought it was something in his joint in his leg something that we couldn't we couldn't handle that's right and i told jason after the vet left i said i am so glad that we didn't know something was in his hoof oh, because yeah. you know what we would have done yeah, we would have tried to get it out ourselves yeah, yeah we would try to get out and listen moody don't have a mean bone in his body at all but he weighs so much so when he just does this, you yeah. know, he could he could knock me over the fence. You know what I mean? Just mm -hmm. just bam. And I'll be out like like Mike Tyson just hitting somebody. Just boom. And that's what that's yeah. what Dr. D said. He mm -hmm. said it's not so much um the fact that 
I'm scared of him. That's right. He said, you know, I'm not scared of him. You can see he's gentle as a puppy. That's right. But when you get in there and you get to working on something and you touch a nerve or you mm -hmm. do something that they are not comfortable with, a sling of a head can send you flying. He can send you flying or, or break your jaw or whatever. <laughs> whatever. You, you, you know what? What one of the most, I mean, there was a lot of things I was impressed with about Dr. D, but one of the most important things that I think was the fact that he was trying to figure out a way to make things work without us going to extra expense. Yeah, he really did. He, um, that, he, to, that, I agree with that. We'll get into that too. But my favorite thing about him was, and I'm not exaggerating this at all, y'all. Because we didn't video much. We, we, you only videoed a couple of us. Because we didn't know him. We didn't feel comfortable videoing him. We did, He didn't know who we were. He yeah. didn't know, to, know us from Adam's house cat. What's that saying? Adam, That's it. Does that say that right? That's it. That didn't sound, that didn't sound right. But anyways, so afterwards, he said he doesn't care once he realized who we were. And we talked about it and all that. But when he first got here, you know, we wanted an introduction, this, that, and other. But... Long story short, he talks to those animals as if they are three-year-old children. And he, I'm not exaggerating. Kind of like mean, you. He does. He does. He really does. And, and the whole time, the whole time he's talking to Moody, he's telling him, we, we love you. You're going to, you're going to do good. It, it's only going to take one second. This is just a shot, Moody. You're going to be gonna good. we're going to help you. You're going to be a big boy. This is all going to be, everything's going to be Okay. You're, you're, you're doing well. You're doing great. The whole entire time he was here, that's how he talked to the animals. And he, I've never in my my 47 years have seen a veterinarian talk to animals like I do. Never. Well, it's not too late to go to vet school. And it's not too late to go to vet school. I mean, it's a long drive to Auburn every day, but it's not too late to go to vet school. It's not too late. It's and, not I mean, too you late. got your basics behind you, yeah. so... You know, <laughs> that's right. Uh, 52 is not looking too bad. To no, it's this. not. Not not at all. Maybe I could partner with Dr. D and then we could start another YouTube channel. Uh, that's a good Dr. D and Dr. J. You're going to have to quit your DJ YouTube if you're going to be a vet. <laughs> and we could maybe I could teach him how to dance and we can do a little dance. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? OK, <laughs> well, Dr. D is awesome. Dr. D is just what the doctor ordered. He really was. For lack of pun he intended. He really was. I have um, reached out to vets since we've got here. Mm -hmm. And there's nobody that can come when we need them. Does that make sense? It does make sense. And, uh, you know. There's a guy down the road and he's he's he does horses mainly. Mm -hmm. And. He's getting up in age mm -hmm. to where Dr. D said he's not able to even take care of the horses that he previously That's has. That's right. That's right. So that, I mean, I would have, I would have taken anybody at the time. That's when, right. When we saw that, you know, we were in a situation where we mm -hmm. needed somebody right then. Then there's another vet that's over in Centerville, um, Dr. Kevin Bolden, mm -hmm. and he used to make house calls and that's who. Everybody, used. everybody suggested him, and we were so happy mm -hmm. when we first moved here because we knew we had somebody that would come. That's right. And n he no longer does it. That's right. He no longer makes house calls. So Doctor D just fell in our lap and fell in our lap, and oh my gracious, I'm so grateful, so 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 grateful. Funny story, and I, I don't, I don't think I talked about this in the video, so. We told Dr. D that, you know, who we were and what we did. And he, he, he was kind of interested in it, but I don't think he grasped the whole thing of it <laughs> and all that. And so he does everything here and all that. <clears throat> and as soon as he leaves, pulls out our driveway, he stops at the end of our driveway <laughs> and calls Brooke on the phone oh, yeah. <laughs> and says, holy cow, y'all got over 100,000 followers on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> and... And we're just not the type of people that, you know, want to say, hey, oh my gracious. you don't know who we are? We're Cog Hill Farm. That's uh, right. I mean, it's it's not like that at all. And we'll never mm -mm. be that kind of person. Not at all. But, 
Y'all, he was like. <laughs> he said, I had no idea that I was dealing with celebrities is what he told us. But, <laughs> yeah. you know, we don't. It's just, it just, it it's just, just funny to us. just doesn't mean anything to us. Nothing I mean, we're happy all. to be mm-hmm. entertainment to others and um, happy to be able to, you know, show our animals to those who, That's right. who don't have this farm. That's right. Or any farm. I mean, you know, some of you do have a farm, but nonetheless, nonetheless, find us entertaining and we are so thrilled. And you know what? I feel like that's what the good Lord put us here for is, is to make people happy, make people smile and entertain people. And, and, and that's what I feel like that I'm supposed to be doing. And that's what I'm going to do. I I feel like that too. And I feel like um, if that's our purpose, then we're going to, we're going to use that until it's used up. And then, That's right. you know, if we need to move on to something else, we will. But as long as we can make somebody smile, then we've done our job. I absolutely agree. 100%. We're not out to spread any kind of negativity. There's enough of that in the world. Mm-hmm. And I think we all know that. So love Dr. D. He love was Dr. awesome. Um, he checked out the goats and so he, he, he was, he was here. He was here for a good long bit. Now that I think about it, well, he really after was. we were done with all mm-hmm. the animals, he, um, he sat and talked for a little bit. That's right. And so it ended up being, you know, a little bit longer than we probably needed it to be. But probably so. We, I wasn't leading the conversation. I no. was letting him, you know, he talk was, as long as he wanted to because I you, knew he had other things to do. You so, wasn't babbling, bro. I wasn't. I just, <laughs> I just mainly listened and answer any questions that he had, and um, oh my gracious, just thoroughly enjoyed him. Hey, Come on Gidget. in, Gidget. Come on in, Gidget. She said she's been over there eating. Come on in. She's getting her little light light snack. And Arlo's on the other side over here. Arlo's not as. Um, Go ahead and say it. Not a camera hog like Gidget. Oh, I thought you were going to say hyper. Not as hyper either, but yeah. Oh, not hyper. What's yeah. yeah. So speaking, I talked about Tanya from Hidden Valley Farms earlier. She's the one that does our bees. Well, we got a little announcement to make. She came by today and she is officially, and we, we were, we, this is, one reason that we wanted to to work with her and this is this is pretty cool this is her thing though. this I is mean, her thing this is not ours and we told her we was completely fine we're okay with it to go with it we love helping people out come on gidget you no her needs to see it but anyways <laughs> tanya has officially this is her this is her it's honey now she she raises, she raises she raises the bees here on our farm but this is the honey from our farm and she has an email address that you can email her at. And she's got the shipping worked out and all that. And if you email her, and I had it I've up there. I've got it right here. It's Hidden Valley, Hidden Valley Honey at AOL.com. Hidden, H-I-D-D-E-N, Valley, yes. V-A-L-L-E-Y, Honey, H-O-N-E-Y, at right. AOL.com. And it is $30 for one pound container shipped. Within shipped. the states, not including Alaska or Hawaii. That's what she told you? Yes. Okay. So if you're interested in any of this, or the, the honey from Cock Hill, she has it. And she said it was a limited supply. And that I think she had what, like 50 bottles 50 of it. 50 bottles. And like she's that. handling it all. So. She's handling it all. It's not It's it's, it's not us. Um, we told we her we have, be doing the shipping we have plenty or... to do. <laughs> Plenty to do here on Cog Hill. But the honey did come from here, but and we were more than happy here. to let her put a, a label in there that says... With our logo on it, we gave her permission for all of that, because we love helping these local folks out around here, and people that help us out, and um, so that's that's uh, just something we like to do, and yeah. I wanted to pass that on. And she said she hopes she'll have four times that much next year, next but this year. was, I mean, you have to imagine, That's we were right. just getting started this year. That's right. And so, I mean, to me, 50 bottles sounds like a good bit. I mean, sounds like a lot to me. That's 50 pounds, but, and she's, and we got, and I don't know how many pounds we got. Um, <laughs> you know, we got like three jars in there, but they're the big, big jars. Yeah, we, we And then she come by today and, and gave me this one because um, she wanted me to show this one on our next live we did. And uh, so that's it right there. And uh, and it is good. Mary Carl loves it. It's really good. It's really good. It's really good. And mm-hmm. uh, Jason, do you think you could put the, the link in there? I will. I will try to. Put the link to her email. 
I will try to put the link to the email on one of these because we're streaming from Facebook, three different YouTube channels, and Twitter. So I'll try my best to get all that taken care of. Well, if you don't, it'll be okay. We we didn't say it, and and I did make sure you guys. It see just it. doesn't focus. It, it is does backwards. focus. It's not backwards. You see it backwards. They see it regular. Oh, yep. learn something new every day, don't you? <laughs> That's right. Oh. <laughs> so <clears throat> she did come by today. She said the bees look great. She actually weed eat it over there today. Gidget's trying to get in the computer. Yeah. And you know, I thought when she sent me a message and said, I'm going to come by mm-hmm. and try to do some weed eating around That's the right. Gidget. Around the bees. I felt guilty because mm-hmm. I thought that's something I need to do. But you know what? What? If you don't have a bee suit on, you don't want to be weedy. I asked her, I said, did the bees come at you? She's like, Mm-mm, they're good because it's cool. We've had, we've had a cool snap here. We've been in the mid 80s, but that's going to change next week because they're talking 97 again next week. But we've had a little cool snap for it. It has been wonderful. Somebody but said, what's the third channel? It is. We got our main channel. We got your channel and we got the podcast channel. <clears throat> so that makes three. That makes three. That's right. We are located in central Alabama. You didn't hold it still long enough. Mm. Let me try that again. Sorry about that. It's Hidden Valley Honey. Hidden Valley Honey at AOL.com. Look at that steady hand. I could be a surgeon. You sure could. I could be, I could be a veterinarian surgeon. Let, let, me, let me show. Look at that. Let me show how steady I am. Look at you. That's pretty steady. No, it's not. That's steady now. I have always had a non-steady hand, and I get it from my mama. <laughs> and my mama got it. Oh, from I do her have mama. a shorts channel. You're right. We do have a shorts channel. I'm sorry. Yep, we do. We do. We put our short videos on our shorts channel. But I'm not streaming this on our shorts channel. Somebody said take a screenshot. Well, we can <clears> take <throat> a screenshot and put it on the live. I tell you what, we'll post it. I'll just post it. How about that? I'll Where post, will you post it? it. I'll post it on Facebook. Twitter and YouTube. How about that? Like a picture of it or a what? picture of it and then I'll um and I'll put our email address on it. Okay. That'll work. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Eighty three degrees in Millbrook, Alabama, which is I could throw a rock and hit Millbrook from here. Oh, but that's currently Dyson. That is current and that is we were outside this evening. I grilled some chicken and we were watching football. And we were outside, and y'all, it feels so awesome, but they're talking 97 degrees next week. It's coming back. Have you seen it? Yes, I've seen it. I 97. What's the humidity look like, though? That's what I want to know. Well, I don't look here, 95, 97, 97, 97, 97, 94. Well, it I knew, says right now it's 78 here. Oh, wow. I knew it was way too early 76. for a cool. Yeah, 76 right now. I knew it was way too early for fall. I knew this was just... And see, right now we've got 76% humidity with a 68%. Yeah, 68%. 68 degree dew points. 68 dew points, good. Yeah, I knew it was way, way too early. Or um, it's like, this is what it reminded me of. And it's like Lucy holding that football for Charlie Brown, and that's fall. And you're going to go (laughs) kick it, and she pulls the football away. That's that's what fall was doing to us, and I knew it. I knew it. Well, I'm going to tell you, I... I'm not disappointed because I don't necessarily like getting up and put my pants on in the morning. <laughs> I need to be able to put my shorts on and take off. But, but my, I do enjoy sitting out on that porch. Well, I, I'm, I'm not trying to be negative, mm-hmm. but my personal opinion would be keep the shorts. You think? Yeah, I, I just know. don't like to have chill bumps. and. Oh, and, man. Mm. But we do get a lot more done. This we do last, get a lot more this done. This last week, look at how much we got done. We got a lot done. We did. We really have gotten a lot done. You're right about that. I mean, mainly outside. Yes. Is, is every? I mean, like like we needed to be in here doing things, but we found ourselves outside like we always a do. A lot. And um, it's okay because... A lot of cleaning. We've done a lot of cleaning up. Rainy days and cold days are coming. Mm, and that's, They uh, are. Anna says she hates no what Anna. It was somebody else. I missed it. it. Said they hate the cold. I don't like the cold either. Mm-hmm. Um, cold don't bother me, but cold here versus cold in Boston's different. You know what I mean? Well, if, I if tell I, you what Jason does yeah. during the cold is as I see him outside and he's like this, and I say, "What? What are you doing? My ears, ears are hurt. cold. Yeah. 
That's what he always says. My ears like are where we're a toboggan, though. My ears and my feet, that's what gets cold on me. So so maybe um, you should grow your hair out like mine and it'll cover your ears <laughs> and you won't have any problem. That's what I need to do. I don't a have any problem. long hair country boy. That could be our theme song. Long hair country. Mm -hmm. Jason, let me tell you. What's that? One time you tried to dry. <laughs> my hair don't grow long, Grow your hair out. It don't grow long. Because, you know, I wanted a boyfriend with long hair mm -hmm. at the time. So my boyfriend, he decided he'd make his girlfriend happy That's and right. tried to grow his ha hair out long. That's right. Girlfriend said about two weeks later, cut that hair, boyfriend, because it is getting bigger. It grow. It, it, it grows like out. Bob Ross. It does like Bob Ross. It grows out. It doesn't grow long. It grows out, <laughs> and it, it just it don't work for girlfriend That's or wife. <laughs> <what? laughs> Here comes Gidget. Oh my gracious, Gidget! Gidget. Gidget. Talk about her. Oh me. Yeah, earmuffs. Yeah, yeah. Earmuffs. He could just wear his headphones. I could outside wear my headphones outside and I listen to music and function as earmuffs at the same time. Somebody said they couldn't wait for snow. Uh uh. It snows here. I want to say it snows here on average every six years. You think I'm right about that? Probably every six years. And y'all, when it snows here, it's if we get an eighth of an inch of snow, the whole city shuts down. It, it, it shuts down. It's, I but mean, you it's, know what? The grocery store's empty. All the bread and milk's gone. And it just, it's just everything shuts down. And then at 11.30, the snow's melted and it's right back like it normally but here's was. But <laughs> here's the deal. Here's the deal. We're 45 miles north of where we were. That's true. So 45 miles north, we could get... Once every five years instead of once every six. You may be years. right. We went from we went from growing zone eight B to and now we're eight A. Ain't that nuts? Ain't that nuts? But you know, I can remember uh, seeing the weatherman talk about snow and it missing us in right, in the right. Selma area in the Valley Grand area, and then seeing Chilton County got you know got snow and we didn't. That's so, right. Yeah, every five yeah. years now. Maybe so. Every five years, we'll get snow. <laughs> get it, says she loves. Hey, but guess snow. what? What? We'll have a backup generator. We will have does. a backup generator, but if we don't get that gas tank installed, then we're not gonna have. I'm gonna a tell you what the gas guy told me that came by. He told me he said, "Because I asked talking him about, about propane, because we can't tank. get natural gas where we are." Right. So the the propane guys came by, and uh, we're trying to figure out where we want to put the tank and what size tank and all this and. I asked him, I said, what size tank do you think? And he said, just a regular one. I said, what about my generator? You know, he said, he said, look, he said, I can tell you a smart fella. And uh, he's a smart fella for, for being able to tell that I'm a smart fella. So kudos to him. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm listening. So he said, he said, I believe. And he said, I'm, I'm really serious about this. I believe that y'all could stretch that out for 10 days. On a tank, on a 250 gallon tank, which is your normal tank. That's the, that's, I think that's the average size tank. And I said, really? He said, yeah. I said, and if I got a 500 gallon tank, so you're thinking 20 days, he's like, probably give or take. Yep. And I was like, hmm. He's like, I'm just telling you, I wouldn't <laughs> get the big one. I would get the small one. Yeah. Well, the thing about the big one is, is, um, you're going to have to have it filled up. And and he and, told me, well, talking about like that, he said, he's like, look, he said, we ain't but a few miles down the road. He said, you know, if, you, if you run out during a, some type of disaster or whatever. Like the truck's going to run during a disaster. Yeah, but like he said, if if we had a snow day and the power lines were down and the power company, only like three days later, you know, the roads would be clear. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that the, that the workers are going to go to the propane store. I'm just saying what he told me, but we can get a 500 gallon tank. No, no, tank. no, I don't, I, we hadn't even talked about no. what he said, so I didn't even know this, yep. but, um. Quit licking, Gidget, quit Gidget, the licking. Gidget has a licking problem, and she's just showing her love, which we all understand, so. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just happy to have the generator now. Yes. We got to get some way to power it up, because. That's right. They don't want to put the tank in until we have our cooktop up mm -hmm. and running. That's right. And that is going to require countertops. Speaking of countertops, I saw somebody ask early on, what countertops are we going with? And 
we have we, we we've tossed and turned we about shouldn't even say this because so many people are going to say we're nuts well they, they, we 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 are we're nuts what's up mike from sunny slope i saw him come up but anyways uh, we we are nuts we are and you guys probably figure that out by now <laughs> and you know what we we're going to do what we're going to do and you know we're we're nuts we 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 got a house that has spray foam exposed that we painted black and we got concrete floors so we're absolutely nuts and we know it and we have a pomeranian <laughs> this is crazier we are <laughs> <laughs> so we 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 finally decided cuz this is what we wanted all along we've been trying to take people we've had people talk us try to talk us out of it um but we've decided to go with marble countertops and that's what we're going to go with and we're going to I don't know we've we talked toss a in long story short. Do y'all know that marble, one of there's like several mines in the world, and one of those mines is in Silicaga, Alabama. I think it's a quarry, isn't it? I don't whatever you call it. Um it's in Silicaga. That's how far from here? 45, 51 miles, I think it was when I Googled it. Alabama marble is is really beautiful. And so I want to go look at some Alabama marble to before we make a final decision, if that's okay with you. Oh, that's fine with yeah. me. Um, I did, as soon as the cabinets were installed, Jason, she's tangled. You had her around her tail. Come on. <laughs> as, as soon as the, ca the cabinets were installed Friday, I immediately reached out to the countertop guy right. we've been working with, and I said, my cabinets are installed! That's exclamation right. Exclamation point, exclamation point. And it was Friday afternoon, really late, so I didn't expect a response. Mm -hmm. and I'm sure Monday he'll get back with me. But I'm with you. Um, I think we should go look and, and, and just... Just look. Just look. Yep. It's not going to hurt to look. Now I mean, the, we might not, the one that we have picked out, Yes. where is it from? It's from, it's from, I don't know, Italy, Spain. It's across the, it's across the pond over there. So I'm, I'm thinking I would, I would really, really, really love if it's within our budget to get the Alabama marble. We don't know how much the Alabama marble is. We no. have no clue. No, we know what no. we picked out is yes. within our budget. That's Actually, right. it was the same cost as the quartz that we it picked really out. It really was. And we yep. could not believe it. Couldn't believe it. And that's when we thought, oh my gracious, yep, that's meant to be. But you know, we're su we're supposed to have this marble that mm -hmm. we love. So after our cabinets were installed, what is today? Saturday, yesterday, mm -hmm. after they were installed, we both looked at each other and we said, we don't know if that quartz that we have picked out is not going to just look like bam, stark white, right? Because the quartz is basically white with a little bit of gray veining in it a little bit of gray veining in mama it. has it in her right. house and it was our second choice mm -hmm. past the marble only because we were kind of scared of the marble because of some of the some of the things that we right. had been told so after they left i looked at you and we both said that we thought that the white would be too white. And I said, let's do the marble. Let's do the marble. And then I reached out to somebody who I think would have a, a good insight on marble. And that is my dear friend, Chef Scott Peacock. He is a celebrity chef. He's been all over TV. He won the James Beard Award in 2007. He is, and he he works in kitchens all the time. And I reached out to him and I said, "What's your thoughts on marble countertops?" And we got talking about it. And we're in, we 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 both, me, you, and him, we all kind of had the same um, idea or what. I don't know, what word I'm looking for there, but our um, expectations were kind of on the same level. Yes, as on the same level. Convinced. That's know, right. Kind of. Yes, marble can stain easier yes marble will itch that kind of stuff but like he said and we said it gives it a patina and gives it character and even 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 has memories embedded in it and that's kind of what we wanted and you're either that kind of person exactly that can deal with that right. and say hey life happens mm -hmm. or you're the kind of person that's gonna 
and we took a quiz. We, there was a quiz. That's <laughs> we took right. A quiz last night. <laughs> one of them was how often do you wash your hair? That was one of them. Or uh, your child is going off to college. And yeah. Something about it was the all essence. kinds of questions. It was. Like it was. It was several questions. That's right. I got mixed up on the washing your hair. Yeah. Because I like to wash my hair every mm -hmm. day, but everything else put us on the scale where we should do the marble. Yeah. But I, I do like to clean my hair. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So, so after after that, and after Scott told us what what his feelings were about yes. the marble. That's right. We know our personality is if this concrete cracks, which is concrete, it's gonna crack. You know what we're gonna say? That's life. Yeah, we like concrete it. Concrete crack. That's right. It. That's we don't right. want to go we in like there it. with a hammer and hit it That's and right. make it crack. But when it cracks, we're going to say, that's right. Hey, look, there's a new crack in our concrete. Cause that's what concrete does. It cracks. It cracks. And marble, if you. That's me, Carl. Oh my goodness. I thought Gidget was headed out the door. <laughs> and marble, if you set something that's acidic on mm -hmm. it, it's going to not necessarily stain it. But itch it. But make it to where the light doesn't shine on mm -hmm. it the same. To where you can see maybe a little pit in it or a when you rub your hand across it, it's not so smooth. Mm -hmm. But guess what? We're that kind of person. That's right. I don't mind scarring. I don't mind disfiguring. You know, it's just part of who you are and what you are. And that's just us. That's us. But, and so. But. Yeah. If you're the kind of person that can't deal with that, then marble's out of your... You don't want marble. You don't want marble. You don't want marble, and you probably don't want concrete floors yeah. and that kind of stuff. So we're going... We're 99.9% we, we, we're .9 sure that we're going with, with what the we marble. Wanted. Yeah. That's what we wanted. That's what we wanted. Um, yes, we will be going with the um, honed-looking. Is that what it's called? Honed, yes. We don't want it to be polished. Right. Because polish, the polish will come off and... You will be looking mm -hmm. like, hey, it's dull over here and it's shiny over here. And we don't want that. We want it to be just dull. Just, That's just right. look natural. Just look like it came out of that pit. We're not going right. to say quarry. We're not going to say mine. Mine. We're going to say pit. <laughs> just look like pit. it comes straight out of the pit. It comes straight out the ground. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so so our, our next step is to go mm. to Silicaga to... Alabama Marble? Is that what it's called? It was actually a store in Bessemer that had it. Where did I Timothy? say? Silicaga. It, it's, it comes from Silicaga, but I think the store that uh, Scott recommended to us that he had That's a That's the one I Googled. That was in Bessemer. Hmm. So we're going to go check it out and see what they say. And I'm going to do some more Googling and mm -hmm. see where else. That's right. Um, now, somebody told us at one of the countertop stores we went to mm -hmm. when we were looking for Mama that the Alabama Marble was a lot softer. And we're going to get into all that, too. I want right. to know that the the marble that we've looked at in comparison to the Alabama marble. Well, talking to Scott, he said if he had his choice, he would get Alabama. That would be his hands down. That's what he would go with. Well, so if it's that's our, what we want. And uh, just if, if we can't, if it's not in our budget, then I understand. We have a plan B. But if we can get the Alabama marble and, it's, and it came from 40 miles from our house, Isn't that, that awesome? just... That just makes it even more special if it's possible. Maybe our next video, we ought to go out and and I can take my tractor bucket and mm -hmm. I can dig a little hole and we can somehow get us a <laughs> stick of dynamite and we can put it down in there. We and got see some if, rocks now. See if we don't have some marble. We got some rocks now. I ain't going to lie. It could be the Cog Hill Quarry or it's the a, Cog Hill Peak. They ain't pretty though. Wow. Our rocks ain't pretty. They ain't. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, somebody want to know if it's Dr. D his real name or do we come up with that as a nickname for the character of uh, our videos and that is actually his name that's is his Dr. First D name. his first name is um, D yes. D E E Jones isn't that I his think last that's name? right mm -hmm. so D Dr. Jones. D he said you can call me D or you can call me Dr. D whatever you want to whatever do. we want to call him so D so, it is so Dr. D it is Dr. D's our, he's our main, main man right now. Main man right now. Yes. Absolutely got that right. I'm just thrilled to know that we mm -hmm. have him. And he's going to get us together a medicine. Um, well, he's not going to get us. I think you said on the video cabinet, but he's just going to get us medicines to go in. I did. I did. That's just the first thing popped in my Why? head because that's what comes out my mouth sometimes. I don't think before I speak. And uh, I said he's going to get us a medicine cabinet. And uh, he's really not building us a medicine cabinet per se, but he's getting us 
emergency medicines that we need here on the farm. He's going to get us that kit. And like of course, kit. of course we have, I mean, you can look over there on the floor because <laughs> that's where our farm supply of medicines yeah, are. That's right. But we have lots and lots of medicines here, but they're all things that you can get over the counter. Mm. So what he wants to do is to right. get us some things to have on hand where I call him and I say, Hey, um, Joe, who's our Nubian buck, mm -hmm. um, it, he just pooped out a worm. Yes. I need to be, <laughs> we have wormer. I don't mean that, but you know what I'm saying? Well, he just, can tell yeah. me over the phone yeah. how to treat it. And hopefully I'll have the medicine to treat it with. Necessary That's right. To treat That's it. what we're hoping Am for. Am I getting louder? No. Oh. No, you're fine. Okay. You're good. But, um, yeah, that's what he wants to do. He that's wants right. to, you know, you're at some point you're going to have an animal that's in pain and it may be nine o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. And he said that he wants to give us, you know, something for pain, something for, oh goodness. I can't he, remember. He listed all he kinds of stuff just and, over my head right now. But yeah. Yeah. He named all kinds of stuff. What kind of thiamine deficiency in goats? That, that maybe some B, B something. And well, we I don't, he, he named off a bunch of stuff and. So, yeah, and we got to get back with him here in the next couple of days anyway. So we'll uh, we'll get all that worked out. And then um, so we talked about him doing a fecal mm -hmm. on our goats and and taking it with him. Well, somebody that's a follower of ours reached out to me and said they that did. they do their own fecals. They did. And I said, you know, I've always thought about that. And we got a microscope. And they said, well, really, all you need is a microscope, some special slides, and some solution. Mm -hmm. Well, I knew that, but I have never had time to sit down and go through the steps of what I actually need. I said, look, I said, if it's not too much trouble for you, if you don't mind, would you send me the link to the solution that That's you right. use and the slides? Mm -hmm. And he did that. That's and right. I'm going to order it. So that way, me, Carl, and I, and if you want to, Follow us sometimes you can. Going to learn how to do our own fecals. Uh, it, that'd be awesome. Because Dr. D did say the best way to, to check for worms is to do a fecal. Don't go by their FAMACHA score, which is, you know, their eye, how pink or whatever it is. Right. Do a fecal. Do a fecal. So That's 100% accurate. 100% accurate. Yep. And he sent a video that showed how to do the count. Mm -hmm. the score, you know, that's right. Because you're gonna have some that's right. sites. Mm -hmm. You're never gonna look at it and it not be anything you, on it. If you have animals, especially ruminants, they're gonna have parasites no matter what you yep. do. That's right. You just want to try to keep it controlled. Keep it controlled yep. to where it doesn't take that's over right. their. You mm -hmm. know, they'll eat more than than the animal does if they get a chance, that's and they'll right. become anemic and then they'll die. So we don't want any of that happen. Don't want that to happen. The parasites are just part of life mm -hmm. but i ain't planning on putting none of, none of my stuff on the microscope and checking for mary carl will love that too she sure will, she will. <laughs> she... mary carl will love that i'm gonna <laughs> tell you she figured uh, out she'll be checking all them pigeons oh my goodness yes under the microscope she sure will mm -hmm. and it's something that in my opinion we need to know how to do i agree and I saw a box out in the garage that was labeled microscopes. And these ain't no junky microscopes either. Um, a man that was, well, he was in medical school at the time. And he gifted Mary Carl one of these very nice <laughs> microscopes. It looks like something you see at a... Uh... At the CDC or something, it is. It's a, it's a jam up it's microscope. A jam up microscope. And then the other one, did we buy the other one? We bought the other one. Yeah, we bought the other one. Yep. And the reason we bought the other one is because mm -hmm. it taught her how to to use it. Basically, um, it came with the slides that were preloaded. That's right. That's right. She was really little when she asked for her first microscope. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, that, so then he gifted. Then us he that gifted one that other one. That's right. Yeah. It is a. Then we got an awesome telescope that she got for for Christmas one year that we never were able to use at the old farm. Not, not, not like we wanted to, we were you able to use it, but it was just, it was, was kind of so hard many trees around. Yeah. And so you take the telescope out and it would be like a meter or so or something you could see with your eyes mm -hmm. and get out there and you'd see better with your eyes than you would the scope because you got a tree in your vision. You got a tree in your vision. We had a very, very narrow field at the other farm versus here and we just got it out and uh i'm got to find the cord to it i'm looking at it right now 
Well, it was stored up in Mama's tiny house attic. I think I know where the cord is. I think hmm. I know where it is. I'll have to figure it out. Yes, you will. Um, what were you fixing to say? I wasn't. I don't even see the time. How long have we been talking? I have no idea. Well, it, 54 minutes. Oh, 54 minutes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. No, no, did you? No barking during the podcast. You have to learn <laughs> to control yourself, okay? Yes. You got to be like Arlo. Just go to sleep. Arlo's just just as knocked out and calm as he can be over there. Well. But get you just high strung as they come. Y'all hear Foxy? Uh, Foxy's barking. That's why I get uh, no Last barking. night, I was washing some clothes in our own house. Mm -hmm. And I was folding them and, and going back and forth through the bedroom. And I came through there. I had just talked to you and came back through and you were asleep. And it was I, like 6.30. It was 7.30. 7.30. I don't go to sleep early, and I told you I was, I don't know what it was, I was just give out yesterday. I mean, I was give out. I don't know if it was just, we've, we've been working really hard, and I guess maybe an accumulation over several days, and just, I was give out. And plus that, you have nights that you don't sleep all night. I usually, That's true, too. Um, I told y'all. And I on, wake up early. On one of the podcasts back a long time ago. That I didn't sleep all night. That I woke up and I had things on my mind. Mm -hmm. I don't do that anymore. I sleep all night. <laughs> all <laughs> that's night. that's good. I sleep all night. That is good. If that's I wake wonderful. up, then it's it's rare. That is, it is wonderful. Rare. And that tells you what stress, well. That's right. Nobody would see it as, as stress but that's me. That's right. But what stress will do to you because things were on my mind that I didn't even really you realize. Didn't even know it. But I'd wake up in the middle of the night and, mm -hmm. whoa, how about that? I couldn't go back to sleep because I was thinking about moving and building the house and what we need to do tomorrow. I'm relaxed. That's good. I'm finally. That is good. I wish you could do that. Uh, I can pretty much, I think. I think I can. I think I can. You know, talking about the washroom and the, and I know you're enjoying your washroom, but there's, there's a mystery about washing clothes that I've yet to figure out. Now, when I, you know how I'm very picky about socks. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, I, I don't mind spending, you know, $10 or $15 on a pair of socks because I love socks and I want to be comfortable. And then, and, and I, I realize, buy a 20 pack for $5. Well, so you know, you, 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 you buy a, a nice, preference. it is. And I feel like you buy a nice pair of boots or whatever, you know, boots may last me two years and I'll buy a nice pair of boots. And then I'll buy a cheap sock, and it didn't make sense to me. And I, I finally got a good pair of socks. I was like, God, that's crazy how much better you feel with socks. But getting to the sock story and washing clothes, y'all, when I take my socks off, I put them together because I don't want nothing to happen to my socks. And I'm so thankful because I always have a match. But out of the blue, every now and then, your sock just disappears. And how is that? How does in the world is a sock out of the blue? Here recently? Just, yeah, just well, not I since have, we moved in here, but just well, in laundry in general. Now is we, there, I is, will tell you this. Is there a sock resort like in the key somewhere where the socks go off to? Have you seen my bag of socks? <laughs> I haven't seen your bag of socks. You got so some mismatched socks. I have a in Walmart it. bag and it's <laughs> slap full of single <laughs> socks. I need to go through that bag. Yes, because mama was going to throw it away. You oh, know what happened? Don't throw that away. When I was washing clothes at the tiny house. Yeah. A lot of times she might have a load in, so I would leave my clothes there. Yeah. And she'd say, Brooke, I don't mind washing them for you. So, of course, if she washed them, she put them together. Well, she didn't always come back with two socks. Now, I'm not blaming her by all means. I do it, too. Right. But it was easy for a sock to get lost in that tiny house. So, when we were getting her stuff out yeah. of the tiny house, yeah. she'd come up with a Walmart bag full of mismatched socks. <laughs> It's just crazy. And I saw somebody else that said something, and I wish that we got so many comments, y'all. But uh, the one, it, 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 this is true too. They said that the socks go off to a party with your Tupperware lids because how, many, how often do your Tupperware lids come up missing? I, that is so true. Well, right now we're having a problem <laughs> with everything coming up missing because <laughs> we're still using the gor gorilla cart for the. For the uh, instant pot. That's right. Oh, I got to share something. I know we've been talking a long time. Y'all probably tired of us, but so Jason did, did you do a story of the wings or a reel or what was it? 
I never posted it. Oh, okay. So this is all new and all exciting, but Jason loves chicken wings. Uh, not just chicken wings. I love hot wings, but we, we, we try to avoid fried food as much as possible. Yeah. But I love y'all. I could, I could make myself sick on hot wings. I really could. I mean, I really, really, really could. So at the old house, I found a way to cook the wings without frying them. That's right. And that was using, um, what do you call that thing? The convection oven? No. The pan that's elevated with the... I don't know. It okay, was like so an elevated like a, baking sheet. It was like a baking sheet, but it got air up under it. Mm -hmm. You know, it was elevated. It had a little rack on it. So if you baked them in the oven like that, then it, it, it cooked them all the way around. They were crispy, and they, they were just about, just about like fried. They were just about. They satisfied me because satisfied. I love hot wings. But what I would do is put this breading on it, and it's made by Hooters. Mm -hmm. and Hooters is that wing place that those girls are half naked yeah <laughs> and and we like their wings but we don't necessarily well i don't necessarily want to go sit in hooters with my <laughs> husband and eat wings so i can buy their breading at the grocery uh, store oh, and wear my clothes while i'm doing it and come home and cook wings and it doesn't matter if i wear my clothes or not when i'm cooking the wings because <laughs> nobody cares but so I put the breading oh, on the wings gracious. and cook them in the oven. Well, what happened when I cooked them in the oven was they may not that 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 breading maybe not cook. Plus, the oven would have hot spots too. You know, yeah, certain a, spots would get this, that, and other. So let me go get it. Oh, what you gonna go get? My bread. Oh, so she would cook them in the oven, and that just satisfied me. Um, to forever. I mean, I, I absolutely love them cooked in the, um, it goes in the refrigerator. Well, I don't have a pantry. Oh. So. <laughs> yeah. So, um, when we, when we moved, when we moved here, you know, I hadn't had an oven for a long time. And in the That's camper, right. it wasn't possible for me to cook the wings in the oven mm -hmm. in the, in the camper. That oven was like mm, one foot, maybe by one foot. Mm -hmm. Anyway, he likes a lot of wings. He doesn't like like three wings. He likes a lot of wings. So. <laughs> I'll eat a bunch of them, y'all. Well, I'm telling you, I love hot wings. I have had my Instapot in this house or in the camper the whole entire time, right, but the right. air fryer part of it right. was packed away. Mm -hmm. So as we have gotten a few things out of the garage a little mm -hmm. bit at a time, mm -hmm. we found the air fryer part to my Instapot, show did. which I bought the one that had the air fryer, and we've never air fried anything. Never air fried anything. Mm -mm. So if you have, you know, you just know I'm late to the party. That's right. But I said I'm gonna cook my man some of those Hooters wings. And when she said that, I was like, Oh my gosh, yes. So first I of all, had, I probably when's the last time we had hot wings since we've been in the camper? Well, it's been over a year. A year. It's been over a year, and because that's like we one of my favorite for six foods. months. So listen, if if this is no lie. If 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 you said, "Look, Jason, we can have a ribeye steak, or we can have hot wings," I'm gonna say hot wings, y'all. I'm just gonna say I just love hot wings. I mean, like for his birthday, if I was trying to make a good meal or something, I and love, think of the most favorite thing that he likes, I would cook hot wings. I do. So I said, "I'm gonna give it a shot. What can it hurt?" Mm -hmm. um, I I I'm gonna get this air fryer out. I went to the store and I was. At the price of the wings, I could not believe how expensive they were since the last time I bought them. <laughs> I mean, wings have gone up. I it's said, been cheaper by the real buys, it? <laughs> yeah, you are not kidding. So it's not something that Mary Carl and I are crazy about. That's right. So I had to plan two different meals for me. And is Lester on here? Is Lester on here? Lester, do you like wings? Lester, we need to have a hot wing party. Yeah, like see how mm. hot you can actually Ooh, eat the hot wings. Okay, that's stop, what we stop, need stop. to do. So I found the, the air fryer <laughs> part and I thought, you know, I wonder if I can put that breading that I used to use in the oven on the wings. Mm -hmm. And so I went and I bought my Hooters wing bread and you can get this at, it is I think good. you can get it at Walmart, you can get it anywhere. And it's, um, 
yeah, I could have mixed up my own, but I don't have cabinets and I don't have a pantry full of That's stuff right. and I sure don't want to buy That's the right. ingredients. So I bought my, my breading and Jason doesn't particularly like the, the Hooter sauce. I don't, it's too cheesy. I love it. I don't, it's just too cheesy. I don't I like, like wings, but I can eat the Hooters wings. Give sauce. me Texas Pete or whatever hot sauce you like and we'll go with that. So, so I bought the Texas Pete and I put the breading on mm -hmm. the wings and I put them in the air fryer. That's right. And I didn't know what to expect. And I made some, some homemade ranch dressing with buttermilk. <sighs> and he'd have thought it was his birthday. This man was so happy. I brought that plate in, and it was, was it 12? It was 12 hot, it was 12 wings. And these were big ones. Well, it was the drumstick <laughs> and the wings. So it was, was six drumsticks and six wings. And I told him, I said, I had to fry it in two separate, fry it, air fry it in two separate batches. And there was only three in that second batch. Mm -hmm. Well, I went over to, to, I had my air fryer at Mama's instead right. of here because, you know, uh, I just did. I got back and he had eaten all of them. And I said, I got three left. And he said, you eat those. And I said, no, I got me something else. I'm going to, I'm going to eat. And I brought she those gave three me the back. Green light. And y'all. <laughs> she gave me the green it, light. <laughs> it was two seconds left. And, <laughs> and he had the last three eight. So I even know on the bone. I'm telling you, I he love, does. Them. He I love, love them. He loves love the wings and mm -hmm. the air fryer is the way to go. Do this wing breading. The air fryer, I'm not going to lie. And I haven't had, I can't tell you the last time I had really fried hot wings. I can't either. We try, like I said, we try to stay away from fried food as much as possible. And these air fryer, air fried ones were as close to fried hot wings as I can remember. I don't know when we went to a wing restaurant. It's been last. a while. It has been a while. It's been a long while. It's been a while. Because I mean, Mary Carl don't care for them. She does. And you don't care for them. I'm the only one that cares for them. It's just me. She'll eat the um the little drumettes. Yeah. But she doesn't want any sauce on them. She just wants some plain. I got you. So, you know, um, when we get all the way ready, all ready, mm -hmm. <laughs> as I say, mm -hmm. then we will do some two different ways, but. Uh, I think the air fryer is the way to do it. I think uh, the air fryer, I'm telling you, it was, they were D. De they were delicious. crispy and the breading wasn't left on it like it is when mm -hmm. you when you cook it in the, in the oven. The breading's kind of left on it. They were awesome. They were so And I don't good. know what I'm talking about because I didn't even try it, but it looked really good. They were good. I'm a, I'm a hot wing connoisseur and they were delicious. I made myself sick. I ate them so much. A date night in our future. We don't have a place, I don't think, near us. That sells... Do we have hot wing place near us? I don't even know. We have to go to Birmingham. Know. Well. We have to go to Birmingham. We and have we, to go, we like, take our kid with Bob us Howers on, our, on our date night. I don't think about the, what's the other one? Bomb Howers. I know Bomb Howers, but it's the um, the Buffalo Wild Wings. Mm -hmm. They got like 48 sauces. And yeah, it just, that just to... confuses me. Just confuses me. I just I just want hot wings. Uh my favorite is is Hooters. But I, I'm telling y'all, I just have a problem as a female going in there <laughs> and sitting with my twelve year old daughter. Maybe you're on to something. What? Maybe they ought to make one with men in it. Hmm. <laughs> it wouldn't be called Hooters, I don't think. It would be called I don't know what name you come up with and we we shouldn't say it on, on air. But <laughs> I wonder if they've but, ever thought of that. I'm sure they have. Surely, the goodness, us two rednecks in Alabama ain't the only ones that thought of that. But I still would be uncomfortable with my 12 year old daughter if it was men running you, around. You, half you're naked. right. You're right. So maybe they should just make one that's family friendly. Family friendly. I guess that's where Buffalo Wild Wings comes in. It play, does but... not taste like Hooters. No, it don't. It don't taste like Hooters. Um, you got a uh, when you. I like that like Bomb Howers. Like they don't bombers. have that cheesy sauce. They don't have that cheesy sauce. But that's though. okay because I can make them at home with the. With you the can Hooter buy the sauce. Hooter sauce, and that's yep. what I did. That's, yep, that's a, you're you're exactly right. Call it, it buns. That's what somebody said. They got. call it buns. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, that's funny. Well, <laughs> yeah, call it. I might. Uh, not. We better watch what I we say because I'll be said something out loud, and I won't have many. And this is a family friendly. <laughs> A family-friendly oh, channel. Man. Oh, man, I'm crying. 
the, the Hooters, they may, they, they oh used to, because like I said, it's been before me. Carl was born since we've been in there. But I'm literally crying. I used to eat some <laughs> shrimp there that had that cheesy sauce That's on right. it. Oh my gosh. I wonder if I could do that in the air fryer. Yeah. You know where we could get some shrimp from? Bees Market. Bees Market. I wonder if they have the little tiny ones. I don't know. The last time we went, this shrimp was big as my arm. I don't know if they got any little. You could probably get two in that air fryer. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be that's, it. <laughs> that's all right. I'd have to make a bunch of trips, wouldn't I? That's right. All right. So, do you want to answer a few questions? Because we've been talking a long time. Oh, we've been talking. We've had a good time, though. Yeah. We could just, I mean, this is what we do in our regular. <laughs> And if y'all weren't watching us, this is what we'd be doing. This is what we'd be doing. And I, you know what? I think we're really getting better at the lives uh, and being more like this. I don't have That's a nervous I'm... bone in my body when I get I on either. here. I, d- I don't either. When we first did them, though, I was so nervous about the lives. Well, there, there are... I can't edit nothing out. I can't edit <laughs> out that we're talking about I, I always <laughs> told you that... I would be careful with what I said That's right. if we would do the lives because it would be one last thing that you did. Oh. But look, I want to talk about something before we take any questions. Go ahead. Um, talking about mine and Mary Carl's new videos and our new Your channel. New channel. Um, mm-hmm. Y'all know it's that. doing quite well, by the way. <laughs> you see criticism before you see positive. That's right. And there was somebody that, that, that stated that I should let Mary Carl talk. Mm-hmm. And she asked me before we do the video, Mama, will you help me? Will you, you know, ask me some questions? That's right. Because she doesn't feel 100% comfortable going that's in right. on her own. So 12. that's why we do that. That's why we're doing that. That's right. And if we seem uptight, I'm sorry. It is a little different than me being sitting here with you talking about Hooters. Right. Because I, I, I don't know as much about the birds as I do about Hooters. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. I, I I just don't really know what to ask her, what to, how to make her conversation go without her leading it. Yeah. So y'all be patient with us. Yeah. Um, for, for was, the most part, though, I think everybody loves. Uh, yeah, the new I do channel. too. But I just wanted to say that that. It's, I think I think your channel is going to be above everybody else's. Y'all let that happen, okay? <laughs> Let's show him. Just put it on your TV at night on That's YouTube right. and let it play all night <laughs> and let him think that I'm doing better <laughs> than him. You're so funny. Just turn that TV on YouTube and play. You're so funny. I'm going to have. You don't have to do that because uh, it's going to do it anyways. It's doing wonderful. How many? I want 100,000 views. It's going to happen. In a week. It's going to happen. Well, it's going to happen. But since we got some new viewers. What are you trying to do? I'm fixing to, we got some new viewers that are on here that are asking about the cabinets. And they oh. missed the early part of the show where we mentioned or we announced oh, that we have cabinets, y'all. They look black in the background. We have cabinets. But they're not black. They're- Speaking of, they're not black. They're the Cheating Heart, which is the charcoal. It's like a mixture between dark gray or charcoal, black, and navy. Yeah, that yeah. that's exactly right. That's what and, it looks like. And Monday, and Monday, stay tuned because Monday there's going to be. We're going to give a, you our grand tour. It's going to, you're going to see all of it. I won't have my shelf liners in. That's right. I may could cut those shelf liners and do that on my video on Thursday. That may be a good one I'm for sure Thursday. everybody wants to watch me put <laughs> shelf liners in those cabinets. You never know. <laughs> you never know. But um, gosh, I was fixing to say something. Dad About the in. new viewer, viewers in the cabinet. Oh, that. And um, it's gone now. I won't ever find it. It's gone. I won't ever find it. Well, I will say, though, I will say, if Lester's still on here, and I saw somebody say this, and it was funny, and it made perfectly good sense. So, Lester, if you're still on here, <clears throat> got an idea that me and you could start a new restaurant about hot wings and have men in it and call it Guns and Buns. <laughs> I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> I don't. Oh. I don't think guns and buns. You know, I don't that's gonna think, work. Uh-uh. I think Jamie's on here too. Maybe it's Jamie on here, not Lester. I think that y'all ought to do a wing eating competition well, between we you do. and your but boy buddies. Yes, and we all go out and find the the same sauce. It's no, gotta be. Yes. We could do. We could do a replay. Of, there's a show on YouTube. It's huge <gasps> called That'd Hot be a Ones. Good idea. You could do the and, same sauce that they And did. we could do a Hot Ones challenge between me, Lester, Daniel, and Dutch. Yeah. We could do that. We could have a big a big 
collaboration. With if that. I got to air fry everybody's wings, it's going to take quite a few, quite few batches, a, wouldn't it? Yeah. I'm about to get some several air fryers, everyone. Well, it doesn't really <laughs> matter how you cook them. It's the sauce that matters. That's true. So if you want to fry them in your fryer, you fry them up. Listen. It's the sauce. Listen, what's once... You getting in those hot hot sauces? You ain't worried about what that wing tastes like. I can guarantee it. But you gotta do it on a live. You can't do it Ooh, and record it. We it's would got have to, to do it live. on a live. I wonder how we could get all. You know, get we got all four of y'all on the same. Got, live? We got we got we got Streamyard, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking that we could put all four of us on here. On and we can figure line. that out. Yeah, I'm gonna figure that out. If if they're up to it, I know Lester will do it. I know Lester will. Um, I'll have to get up with uh Daniel and Dutch and see if they're up to it. But I know Lester will, and um, we'll have to figure that out. See if we can do that. Well, I hope Jamie doesn't want to do it because I ain't up for no hot <laughs> stuff. <laughs> I can't do it. I just can't do it. Oh hot my stuff gracious! Stuff is just not for me. All how, right. How are the Saramas doing? They are awesome. They're doing great. They They're love happy. it. They love it. Let they me tell y'all what it. we we should go out there right now and show y'all what they're doing because this is this is funny. They got that little house thing. Yeah, they and do. Th there's a little door that slides and shuts. Well, before we shut it up every night, Timmy he sits in the front of all of them he and is, he's like the guard dog. He is. He guards the door and everybody else is behind him and he sits right there in the front, mm -hmm. like you ain't fixing to come through my gate. All my peeps are back here. That's and right. All safe. He is, uh, he's definitely the man in charge of that whole crew of Saramas. That flock. That is, uh, he's awesome. I love Timmy. I love Timmy to death. Somebody said that Lester could use ostrich wings. Oh, my gracious. You know how big that would be? Are their wings big? Because nuggets are puny. I'm thinking legs. No, wings. I think they're wings. wings are puny, aren't You're they? right. You're right. Nuggets are puny. Nuggets are puny. Nuggets got these little Why tiny. Why can't I see Lester come up here? I, everybody's laughing at Lester. But I don't, maybe it's got so many people coming up. Go ahead. I don't know. Well, I don't know either. Let's just take some. Explain how Mary Carl got her name. Okay. I was going to save that for a video, but we can do it here too because mm -hmm. they watch the video. So we'll do the, the man part first Carl. Carl. My daddy was Carl Edward Snyder mm -hmm. Jr. Mm -hmm. His daddy was obviously Carl Edward Snyder Sr. That's right. So my dad passed away in the year 2000, 22 years ago. And Jason actually worked for him at the funeral home where he was kind of, well, not in charge, but worked there for how many years? Oh, gosh. I don't know. 20... 30, 20, 30. Daddy? Yeah. Well, that's all I ever remember. Forever. So, um, he started like when he was like 16. Yes. Well, he worked at the Dairy Queen and then he got the job. He was there for 30 years at least. And, um, his name was Carl. So mm -hmm. that's where the Carl part came from. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. Mary was Jason's late grandmother. Mm -hmm. Mary is also mm -hmm. my mom's name. It's Mary Lou. So there was two Marys. And we had ooh hoodles of names picked out for her. We did. But we kept going back to what the original name should have been. That's right. And that was Mary Carl. It was. So, and while it's odd and it's different, it just is fitting. And I don't think she'd want to change it. I, really I don't, don't think she want to change it either. And mm -hmm. she, she never got to, how do you spell Snyder? S-N-I-D-E-R. Yep. S-N-I. There's I. lots of Y's, but Not we're many, an I. We're there on I. We're an I. Mm hmm And I know what I was going to say. It brought, come back to me. What's that? That you got your own channel, mm -hmm. Mrs. Cockhill Farm. Mm -hmm. It's on YouTube, and it all of it just goes on the Facebook page. You don't have a separate Facebook That's right. page. But um, I was, you know, me and you talked about it, and you said, you told me, you was like, Jason, I could do a live by myself on yeah. my own channel. Yeah. <laughs> I and could. I think that's a good idea. I might not. You might come out at eight o'clock in the morning. I might be on my live, and you might come back at five, and I might still be on my live. But <laughs> that's right. You'd be alive. Yep. You'd so. be alive. Oh, somebody said, "Do we call her MC?" Some of her friends do. Some. Uh, we don't necessarily. We call don't her call her that, her that but I'll a, a lot of I her friends her, do. And it is crazy. I call her Boo. <laughs> 
You call her Boo. I say B O O. I say Mary a lot. B O O. I don't know why I call her Boo. Boo. And I call her Boo too. It's just it's just mm-hmm. something that that happened when yep. she was little, and I call her Boo. Boo. But I call her Mary Carl a lot. Yep. Both. Here comes Boo. Here comes Boo. Hey Boo. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Come here and join us. <laughs> okay. Oh my gracious! So yeah, I think I think you could do a live. Uh, I, did I really too. do. It could just be me and me. And you Gidget. and Gidget. Me and Gidget. That's on right. Live. And me and Boo. Me and Boo could do our. You own and Mary live. Carl. That's right. She would love to to mm-hmm. do a live of her birds. And she, I asked her today. I said, Mary Carl. I said, I want to know what you think about the the channel. Yeah. And do you want to do another one mm-hmm. this week? And she said, Yes. Mm-hmm. So that's a good thing. That is a good thing. Uh, she enjoys um, Mary. Here, I, I see. I called her Mary. I call her Mary too. I think she enjoys teaching teaching people and talking about birds, which mm-hmm. is something she's so passionate about, and um, feels comfortable doing. So that's right. One day, Doctor MC. Doctor MC. Instead of Doctor D, Doctor MC. Doctor MC. Do you like that? Or you like Dr. Boo? <laughs> <laughs> I got a laugh out of Dr. Oh, Boo. Oh, me. That's funny. Any questions? Any They're questions? Real on the way. I need to ask him, but I don't feel comfortable asking him on the weekend. So Monday, I'm going to ask him. Just a lot of comments. I just can't see it. You it's so many. It's so many coming through. Does she prefer Mary Carl or Mary? She's not picky. She, she doesn't care either the way. She really don't. Her um. Oh, she's standing here. She's standing hey, here. Hey, Mary Carl. Some of her um friends very early on in like kindergarten and first grade would call her Bird Girl. Bird Didn't Girl. They? Bird Girl. Do you have a preference as to what you'd like to be called? No. Boo's okay? Yeah. Okay. Boo. Boo is... Boo. Huh? Let everyone else. Oh, no, nobody, nobody else. else. Just nobody. us. Just, Just us a... can call you Boo. Boo has came to raid the refrigerator. It hasn't been probably an hour and a half since she ate dinner, but... That's right. She's at this gross spurt age where I can't keep her full. And it's mm. always, we don't have anything to eat. <laughs> I don't... I don't care if I just came back from the grocery store. We don't have, have anything, anything to, to eat. eat. That's right. And then you say, is there anything that y'all will want from the grocery store? Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. But then we don't have anything to eat. That's right. Poor women. <laughs> they have such a hard job. Oh, me. I am trying to. They're just going so fast, baby. I have a question. How long have we been married? We've been married since 19. No, we've been married since 2000. Look at him. Mm-hmm. I was thinking dating. We've been dating since 93. We started dating back in 1993. Break out that freeze dryer. Yes, sir. We're going to break out that freeze dryer. Absolutely going to break it out. Quit licking. Quit licking. You do? Mary Carl doesn't like dancing. Have you ever tried to dance? No. Oh, she has. She took dance yeah. for. Oh, that's right. She did take dance. She Was took it two dance. years or one year? Three, wasn't it? Two years. Three, three years, I believe. It was only two recitals. So Pretty she sure. was two and three. I think so. And that was it. She was done. Done with dance. Done with dance. Yes, that's cabinets in the background. Mm-hmm. Hi, Mary Carl. Everybody saying, hey, Mary Carl. Mary Carl, ice cream. Do you want some ice cream or do you eat? She's already eating that today. I think we've eaten it all. I think we're out. Well, we got the oatmeal. We got a little bit of oatmeal left. Brownie? Uh-huh. You ate it all? I came in here before dinner and she was sitting on the couch eating ice cream. And I said, Mary Carl, what are you eating? Ice cream before dinner. Somebody want to know how long I took dance lessons for. Well, first of all. I've been dancing since I've been born. <laughs> you come out going like this. I really did, y'all. I mean, I've been I've been dancing forever. I only took dance lessons when Mary Carl started taking dance lessons. And then I was like, that looks like fun. I think I could do that. 
And then I took dance lessons. That was your second year of taking dance is when I took dance lessons. But before that, I was. He's a natural. He doesn't need lessons. I was. Yeah, I'm not, and I can't dance nearly as good as I used to could. And I, I tell really, you, really, really slowed um, down a good bit now. But don't get on to me because I interrupted you and mm-hmm. I didn't mean to. But I was going to say that that you took dance to learn. Um, I took dance to learn structured dance. Before it was all just type of freestyle and that kind of thing. And the structured dance was hard for me very hard I almost quit um because it um it was really hard uh you just, couldn't do it to begin with I could not do it at all and I thought it was gonna be so easy because I could dance so good and I could just pick up stuff so well but when it was structured and you had to do a certain step a certain way it didn't it was tough it, it was took totally me different. forever to figure that out before you know, before, you know, it was just, it was just, you, know, you just made stuff, made stuff up. You know, when I was coming up, break dancing just had came on the scene and I taught myself how to break dance. And that, that's how I got started dancing. And so much so that I, I'd enter like these dance contests and I was six and seven years old and I would beat 19 20 25 year old grown men that's, that's... <laughs> in break dancing but um but that was way different than the actual taking tap and jazz it was really hard I for can... me you got them from amazon you got your bird cages from amazon we'll try to um show more about them when we do our next video because it's a really nice cage that we've been happy with. Mm-hmm. And Amazon is, we found that it was a quarter of the price as they were in p- the pet store. Um, I was going to tell a little short story about Jason dancing. I didn't even know Jason. What? We what? didn't know each other at all. We didn't know each other. Mm-mm. And he. we had a homecoming dance, just as they do now, way back when we were in school. Mm-hmm. And there was a girl that I was friends with that he was going to go to homecoming with that mm-hmm. year. And this was probably ninth grade. And you were in 10th grade, maybe? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because she dated Chet after that. Yeah, it was somewhere in there. I can't remember. So it was probably my ninth grade year, your 10th grade year. Yeah. And a friend of mine was going to homecoming at our school with Jason. Well, Jason got to homecoming and of course he showed out. Of course. Yeah. I mean, you can't turn music on this man, not dance. It just don't happen. I don't care if you're in Walmart or where you are. If there's, if there's music going, the man's going to dance. And I don't know what the girl was thinking when she signed up to go to homecoming with him. She must've asked you because it was at, it was at my school. Gosh, I cannot remember. It was so long ago. But I can remember going in the bathroom and me not knowing Jason mm-hmm. and her boo-hooing <laughs> her eyes out and me being like, what in the world is going on? And one of my friends said, he's out there dancing and it's embarrassing her. And and I, you know, I didn't think anything about it because it would not have embarrassed me. Right. Even though it might have if you were my date. Well, it, well, I think what really got her was it wasn't the fact that I was dancing. It was the fact that I was dancing and the whole homecoming had stopped <laughs> and had surrounded just me. And it was just me in the middle dancing. Yeah. I think that's probably what embarrassed her. Which I thought was cool. You think? But it, if you had been my date, I may have looked at it a little Maybe differently. So. <laughs> but she was crying her eyes out. Oh. And every girl was hugging her, telling her it was okay. And she wanted to go home. Yeah. She didn't want to go out. Th- Did you even end up taking her home? I don't even remember. But to think now that's that's my husband. That's my <laughs> That's my dancer. <laughs> it's so funny now looking back. It is. It is. Well, what's funny is, is that other girls that were her friends Thought are coming was, over and was dancing was with you. dancing with me. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. It, I think it was just that you were her date. And that I was guess why. so. Maybe that's And then he had another girlfriend that, um, well, she felt the same way at your school. Yeah. If, if he danced, then she got upset. Mm-hmm. And she cried about it. Oh, hell. 
<laughs> didn't stop me. <laughs> and I was one of those that would not have danced. No, you wouldn't have danced her, but you didn't care. I, I didn't care. You didn't but, care um, at all. Well, you went to prom with me in mm -hmm. 11th grade and 12th grade. And you've, of course, put on a show. And I put on a show right there behind you. That's right. So we had fun. We had fun. We did. So I think we need to call it a night. <laughs> then we need to call it a night. Yeah. Red Cross here. She won't answer these questions. Well, well, guys, we will call it a night. It is getting, I guess, kind of late. And it is, uh, I don't know what else to say. To be honest you, with you. I'm, I can I'm, keep it going. I'm, if y'all want to listen, I, I can. I am out of words. Today is National Pet Bird Day. Today, did you know that? Oh. Mary Carl got Zerk today, six years ago. Zerk, Zerk. is her co cockatiel. Mm -hmm. I didn't plan on it being on National Pet Birthday. Oh, wow. No, and you've never something? It. That is so cool. How about that? Well, guys, we will catch y'all on another one, another uh, live. And as always, y'all be good. Y'all be good.